everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how I created a light controller with the timer. Let's get started. I've already imported my design from Figma. I will use the handle circle shape, progress bar, button, sheet background, lamp image and background rectangle shape. Let's start it with the controller. I will add a drag trigger, assigning to the handle, and add the response move for handle in a vertical direction. We can move handle, but it moves beyond the controller. So I will set the custom limit from minimum Y position to 197 to maximum Y position, 533. As the position where I want the handle to start and end within the controller. Now, the handle moves within the Y range that I set as limit. To link this handle with light, I will add the chain trigger assigning to the Y position of the handle. Then add a response color for the background to chain the actions. It means when the Y position of the handle changes, the color of the background will change in pairs. And we can set the range of actions and responses. I will set the range of the Y position of the handle from 197 to 533, which is the same value when the handle starts and ends. Then I can set a range of color starting with the yellow using the color picker for the brightest light and 1F, 1F, 1F for the darkest. You can see that the background color is responding to the Y position of the handle. To add the detail, I will also change the sheet background color and the lamp opacity. I will duplicate this to have the same Y value and assign it to the sheet background. Then I will chain it to white and color to 2E, 2E, 3 to look like as if it turns to the dark mode. Next, I'm adding the opacity response for the lamp with the same range of 197 to 533, chaining the opacity 100 to 30%. So, when the handle reaches the Y position of 533, the lamp will become darker with opacity as well as the color of the sheet becomes dark. Great. The controller is done. Now, let's add the timer. To create the counter, I will use a variable. You can consider the variable as the bucket that you can hold the value such as number, text, or color, and pass this value flexibly for responses. Let's check out with examples. I will create the val variable timer and store a value 5, countdown from 5 seconds. Then I will add the tap trigger for the button to initiate the timer and add a sign response for timer. When the button is pressed, I will let the timer to deduct one count by using the formula hitting this fx button and use the existing variable timer by hitting this plus button. Then input minus one for arithmetic calculation. To automatically deduct one, deduct one second, I will check the repeat and give a one second interval with infinite repeat. 
By hitting this bug icon, you can check the deduction of your variable when I hit the button. But it will continue deducting below zero. To prevent this, I will add a detect trigger for timer to detect any changes and make the timer variable stop with the stop response to this timer. Since we don't want it to stop from the start, I will add the condition for the timer variable equals to zero and move the stop response. This means the variable will stop deducting when the timer variable reaches to zero. Now, you can see it stop deducting on zero. Now to start restart the count, I will add the reset response for the timer also when it reaches the zero with a delay of one second. You can see now that after five seconds, the variable count reset back to five. Let's visualize the timer. I will add the new trigger chain for the timer and add a response scale for progress. I will set the range of the timer from 5 to 0 and chain this with the width of the progress to 311, which is the full width of the progress, then to 0. Now, you can see the progress bar is decreasing the size paired with the timer. To add extra details, I will add the color for the background to be 1F. 1F, 1F. Also, I will add move for handle with the Y position of 533, which is same as the limit for the drag. Lastly, I will add opacity for the lamp to 30%, as we said for the lamp earlier. Lastly, I will grab color, move, and opacity and set the duration to 1 second so that it changes smoothly. I will turn off the bug and check the preview. I can control the light. When I hit the start button, the counter starts. And when it hits 0, it turns off the light and you can do many times as you want because the timer is automatically reset. I hope you liked this tutorial, don't forget to press like, subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications for upcoming videos. See you soon!